Hi everyone. In the last few weeks, we've been looking at lots of different pencil shading techniques. We have turned two-dimensional objects into three-dimensional objects by using shading and shadows as well. And we've also looked at adding color to our shapes to make them seem a little bit more realistic. So this week, we're going to take it to the next step of actually using our shading and shadow techniques to make 3D objects look like ordinary real life things. So I'm gonna do some examples and show you how you can turn a two dimensional object into a three dimensional object and make it look like a real thing. And then this week, your challenge is to have a go at creating and coming up with some of your own. It takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of patience, but the more you practice this, the better and better you get and the more realistic and amazing your artwork's going to look. So keep practicing, keep trying, let's give it a go. Okay, for this lesson, you're going to need a pencil, a pencil sharpener, a rubber, a ruler, maybe a fine liner, and assortment of colored pencils. Okay, let's get started. So why is it great to learn how to do shading techniques? Because once we learn how to do shading techniques, we can really start to make objects come alive. I'll show you. So I'm just going to start with the circle and I'm going to shade it in. And just by adding some features, we can now turn it into something else. Creepy eyeball. Let's try something else. Or an apple. You can even add some color. Okay, let's try another one. What about say, um, a cone? A traffic cone. Okay, what about a cylinder? A can of soup. So now you've seen me show you a few examples of how to shade, add some colour and make some objects look like real life things. So now it's your turn to have a go. See how many you can come up with and be creative and see if you can put lots of different random objects together to create a really interesting and maybe even weird picture. Keep practicing and keep improving your skills. Good luck.